Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to set up the Google Pixel 6a. So you'll be brought to the Welcome to Your Pixel, just select it, Get Started. Now it's going to say Connect to a Mobile Network. So it wants you to insert a SIM card uh, into the Google Pixel 6a. You can skip this, however, if you plan on using the 6a as a daily driver, I recommend you do this right now. So if you go to the Google Pixel 6a box, okay, you're going to notice Behind this paper, you see the SIM ejector tool. You can use that to insert the SIM cards. Uh, if you don't have the original box or you lost the tool, then you will need to get you know, a tool from eBay, one pound, or a pin or paper clip, and then insert the SIM card. If you don't want to, you can always just select skip. Now it's gonna ask to connect to a Wi-Fi network. So uh, if you already connected to your SIM card, this is an optional step, but for me, I need to do this. So I'm going to enter in. Uh, the password right now so we go like that boom and now we're just going to connect to the wi-fi so from here it's now going to activate the google pixel 6a so just give this a couple of seconds to finish now it's going to ask whether or not you want to copy apps and data so if you have you know, an iphone or some other android you can use this adapter combined with the charging cable in order to transfer the apps and data so you need to connect uh, one end of the charger into the Pixel 6a, the other end into the device you're trying to transfer, and you select next. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to tap on don't copy. I will have tutorials on my channel on how to transfer data off of any device. Uh, so uh, you can also check out my channel. I have a playlist in the description as well. So once we select don't copy, we should be brought to the next page. So now it's going to ask to sign into your Google account. So it's very important that you do sign in to use the Google Play Store, we download apps to use the Google Pay, we make payments, all that good stuff. Uh, you can tap on the skip button, however, you really won't be able to use your Pixel. Uh, you do have the option to create an account if you do not have a Google account. So I'm going to enter in my Google account details now. Sign in, just select, I agree. And from here, it's going to get the account information. So it's gonna give you a bunch of options, location, Google Drive, uh, all that good stuff. So. Use location, should you turn it on or off? I recommend you turn it on for Google Maps, for location services, definitely keep this one on. But to use scanning, this one you wanna turn off. So they put it next to location, so you just scroll past it. What this does is even when Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are turned off, it will scan for Wi-Fi devices, it will scan for Bluetooth devices. This is used, let's just keep the fluff out, to track you 24 seven. So it uses battery, it doesn't help you, so turn this one off send uses in uh, diagnostic data. You can have this on or off, it's up to you. And then I'm gonna tap on accept. It's gonna ask to back up your phone with Google One. Do keep in mind, it will uh, have a 15 gigabyte storage limit. Uh, so I personally will not turn this one on. Now it's gonna ask to set a pin. If you select screen lock options, you can choose between pattern, pin and password as well. So I'm just going to set a regular pin like so, typical 5813. That is the pin for my debit card, just saying. Now it says set up fingerprints unlock. Scroll all the way down and then select it, I agree. Now it says how to set up your fingerprint. Let's tap on start. So you see that little circle, the small circle, not the large circle. Just put any finger, probably your thumb, and just pull it on the, on the center and just release your thumb and just move the angle in which you place your thumb on the center, okay? so. Just move it around. This is mainly because when you try and unlock your pixel, you're gonna use a different grip every single time. So when you get those grips captured, you'll have the highest unlock rate. If you want to add another fingerprint, you can do that right here. But for me, I'm, I'm going to select next. Now it says continue setup. So if you wanna set up Google Pay, Google Assistant, uh, stuff like that, you just tap on continue. Okay, it will ask you to enter in your card. It will say yes or no for Google Assistant. I'm personally going to select leave and get reminder. Now it will say review additional apps. So these apps you may want to download, you may not want to download. So I'm going to unselect that option here and it will unselect all these apps. And I'm going to tap on OK. So now it's going to get your phone ready. So it's going to configure your device using all of those settings, which you determined earlier. It's going to say swipe to navigate your phone. So I will have a tutorial on how to you know, use the uh, gesture navigation. So I'm going to personally select skip. If you just want to learn it from Google, you can always tap on try it. And then from here, all set. So if you don't like the swipe gestures, you can always go to system navigation settings right here. You can always go after you swipe up. 
And here we go, we're on the home screen of the Google Pixel 6a. So, uh, check out my playlist in the description on the end screen for how to use Google Pixel 6, how to fix Google Pixel 6. Thanks for watching, see you guys later. Google Pixel 6a, bye-bye.